Top Inspirational Indian Women Since time immemorial, women have overcome odds and challenged adversity. While the trials vary according to time and circumstance, the grit and determination that is intrinsic to womanhood has remained constant and stood the test of time. As the world moves forward, women are today leading the charge for a progressive society. In this topic, we will go through some of Indian women heroes who have risen above their genders and carved a niche for themselves and society and made the world sit up and take note. Let's begin. Indira Nuyi Nuyi was born in Madras. She is an Indian American business executive and former chairwoman and chief executive officer of PepsiCo. During her 12 year tenure as chief executive, Nuyi transformed PepsiCo into one of the most successful food and beverage companies worldwide. Having joined PepsiCo in 1994, she has governed the organization's international planning over the past decade. She has consistently ranked among the world's 100 most powerful women. Sushma Swaraj Sushma Swaraj was born in Haryana. She was one of the most powerful women in Indian politics. Sushma Swaraj rose to the position of the Minister of External Affairs of India. Becoming only the second woman to don the role, after the late Indira Gandhi. She began as an advocate, in the Supreme Court of India. She became the youngest cabinet minister in India at the age of 25, a record as yet unsurpassed. She was awarded the Padma Vibhushan, India's second highest civilian award posthumously in 2020, in the field of public affairs. Arundhati Roy Arundhati Roy was born in Meghalaya. Winner of the Man Booker Prize for Fiction in 1997, for her debut novel, The God of Small Things. Arundhati Roy has donned several hats throughout her life. After studying architecture, she wrote screenplays for a couple of Indian short films, and had a stint in acting. She is also a political activist, involved in human rights, and environmental causes. Arundhati has a loyal fan following and is much respected for her literary repute and support for environmental and humanitarian undertakings. Nirupama Rao Nirupama Rao was born in Malapuram, Kerala. She is a retired 1973 batch Indian Foreign Service officer who served as India's Foreign Secretary from 2009 to 2011 as well as being India's ambassador to the United States, China and Sri Lanka during her career. Handed with the uphill task of transforming Indo-US ties. She has become the channel through which all major agreements between the two countries flow. In July 2009, she became the second woman to hold the post of India's Foreign Secretary, the head of the Indian Foreign Service. In February 2016, Rao received the Vanitaratnam Award from the Government of Kerala. Kiran Beatty. Beatty was born on June 9, 1949 in Amritsar, in a well-to-do Punjabi business family. She became a beacon of light for women across the country, when she was selected as the first woman to join the Indian Police Service. Over the course of her illustrious career, spanning 35 years, she was able to bring in numerous reforms, while being instrumental in mitigating the number of crimes against women. Not just a national sensation, Kiran Beatty also went on to achieve international acclaim, when she was appointed as a police advisor to the Secretary General of the UN in 2003. After taking up voluntary resignation, she has continued to be a live wire in the public domain, being an audacious writer, and dauntless social activist. Mary Kam Kam was born in Manipur. The woman who lurched into the international amateur boxing scenario, from a remote village in the depths of northeast India. An Olympic participant, she is a five-time winner of the World Amateur Boxing Championship, and the only woman boxer to win a medal in each of the six world competitions. Hailing from a poor family, she made her way up to become a world champion, through hard work, and determination, having returned to professional boxing, after taking a break from marriage and motherhood. 
Salumarada Thimaka. Thimaka was born in Tumkur district. A perfect example of the idea, that age is not a limitation, when it comes to goodwill. Thimaka is an environmental crusader, even past the age of 100. She is renowned for her act of planting, over 8,000 trees, over her lifetime. Her work has been honored, with the National Citizens Award of India, and she was conferred with Padma Shri in 2019. Barkha Dad Barkha was born in New Delhi. She is an Indian television journalist, author, and owner of YouTube news channel, Mojo. Fearless is a synonym for Barkha Dad, the intrepid television journalist, most famously known for her war report age, during the Kargil War between India and Pakistan, in 1999. An emblematic figure of NDTV, Barkha was one of the most prominent faces, of the news channel for 21 years. She has been a figure of inspiration, for countless young girls and women, who courageously embraced the field of hardcore journalism. Seema Rao Seema Rao was born in Mumbai. She has achieved what no other Indian woman has so far. Tearing down conventions. Seema Rao, sometimes referred to as India's Wonder Woman, is the country's first woman commando trainer. Also qualified as a professional medical doctor, she possesses an MBA in crisis management. To top it all, she is one of only 10 women in the world, who are trained in, Jeet Kune Do, a form of martial arts developed by Bruce Lee. Ayaram Sharmila Ayaram was born in Manipur. Known as the Iron Lady, Ayaram has been a symbol of undeterred will. A civil rights and political activist, and poet, she went on a hunger strike lasting 16 years, protesting against the Armed Forces Special Powers Act, ordained by the Indian government, which grants the Indian Armed Forces, unregulated powers of action. Due to the misuse of the power by the army, which resulted in civilian massacres, Ayaram vouched to renounce food and water, in what led to the longest hunger strike in the world. Lakshmi Agarwal Lakshmi was born in New Delhi. Lakshmi Agarwal was only 15 years old, when her stalker, threw acid on her face, to disfigure her for life. The incident failed to break her, and instead only empowered her, to take up the cause of acid attack survivors, like herself. She went on to lead campaigns, and petitions against the sale of the spurious liquid, following which, the Supreme Court of India ordained, the regulation of the sale of acid by the central, and state governments. Thank you all, for watching. See you next time, with another interesting topic.